Uite, a venit t-shirt. Hello, good evening. Hi, Carla. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Marlene. Good evening, teacher. No, no, no. Okay, good evening, everybody. We are going to start. How are you? How was your weekend? Boring, stressful, funny. Yes, Milton. I'm fine. Funny. Funny. Excellent. Okay. We had a few people today. What happened? Muy bien, um, vamos a iniciar este día con la section three. Eh, quiero también felicitarlos porque estuve viendo por ahí sus notas. And most of you got a hundred. So that's, that's good because it means that you are learning, that you are working, that you are trying hard. So congratulations for you. Y la, la mayoría tiene, tiene muy buenas notas, entonces se ha aplicado. Ya al final va a leer, oh, Friday, a trabajar en la plataforma. Pero eh, les felicito por, por, por su trabajo. Y uh, we're going to start today's section three, but we didn't see one topic about, uh, uh, from, <coughs> from last week. The topic was about um, furniture. So we are going to make a, a quickly a review of the vocabulary because yo sé que usted ya, ya lo vio porque ya hizo los ejercicios. You already completed. So we are going to quickly uh, repeat the, the vocabulary words. Uh, and if you have any good question. Evening, Hello, good evening, Wendy. If you have any question about it. So este sería el momento por si le quedó alguna duda de eso. Para no... Para no dejar eso, eso sin, sin ver, por si, por si alguien tenía alguna duda. Así que, only let me check the attendance and then we start. Eh, teacher, un, una interrupción. <coughs> este, disculpe, en el chat del, eh, del, del WhatsApp aparece que alguien está eh, pidiendo disculpas porque no va a poder asistir porque está enfermo o está en una clínica o algo así. Revise. Yes. Ok, yes. Solo que no sé quién será. Bueno, ahí después le, le escribo. Muy bien. Thank you, Milton. Ok, Aleida. Presente. Ok. Ana Maribel. Ana Maribel Cigarán. Andrea Eugenia. Andrea Eugenia. Ayuda, Andrea. 
because I see your name, but I don't know if you are there. <coughs> Brandon and Steven. Present teacher. Okay. Brian Anderson. Brian. Diana Lisbeth. Diana Lisbeth, not here. Diana Pamela. Present teacher. Okay. Dolores. Fabiola. Present teacher. Okay. Fernando. Present teacher. Okay. Hebel. Hebel Virginia. Ingrid Maricela. Present teacher. Excellent. Jorge Antonio. Jorge. Carla Azucena. Present. Okay. Carla Patricia. Present me. Great. María del Carmen. Present teacher. Great. Marlene Elizabeth. Present teacher. Excellent. Melvin con Rodrigo. Present teacher. Okay. Milagro de la Paz. Here I am, Miss. Oh, new look. Excellent. Milton <laughs> Ernesto. Here, teacher. Excellent. Rene Giovanni. Rene Giovanni. Silvia Patricia. Present. Okay. Susana Yasmin. Susana. Wendy Beatriz. Present teacher. Great. Wilber Samuel. Present. Excellent. And Stanley. I'm here. Great. Okay, this is the vocabulary that we missed last week. Okay, the vocabulary furniture. As, as I said before, teacher, disculpe, a mí no me mencionó, o será que yo no le escuché. And Andrea. Eh. Yes, eh, sí, le, sí le puse asistencia. Creo que no me escuchó. Porque sí le, sí le, le, le hablé. O tal vez estaba levantado. Muy bien. Uh, as I said, uh, this vocabulary uh, is from last week, but we are going to make a, a, a quickly review about the words 
And if you have questions about them, or about the you can make questions. Share file microphone. Yes. So we have armchairs. Okay, armchairs are um, a kind of sofas, but they are smaller. They are only for uh, one seat, one seat of a, a space. And the sofa are, are is big. Teacher, present Susana Saldana. Susana. Si quieren, de, al final, cuando vuelva a, a pasar la asistencia, ahí verificamos si hay alguien que, que me falte. Thank you. Okay. So we have armchairs. Okay. We have a bookcase. Pero esta también la habíamos aprendido in another, in another form. Do you remember uh, the, the other name for this piece of furniture? ¿Qué otra habíamos aprendido? Cuando les puse la imagen de la, de la casita, de los room of the house. You don't remember. Book shelf, book shelf. Okay, puede ser bookcase o book shelf. Okay, we have, ah, here is the sofa. Okay, the sofa is bigger. You have two or three seats or space in the sofa. And in the armchairs, you only have one space. Okay, that's the difference. We also have television. Okay, television, this is uh, the most common, right, in the living room. Rug, okay, we have rug, but also we can call it carpet. Okay, rug or carpet. And we have pictures. Okay, pictures, curtains, okay, curtains, a clock, okay, mm, lamps, and a coffee table, a coffee table. All of these pieces of furniture are part of what room, what room of the house? <laughs> yes, correct. They are part of the living room, of the living room, correct. Okay, and now what, what pieces of furniture can you um, mention that are part from the kitchen, for example? In the kitchen, what? My stove. Okay. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Okay. What else? Microwave, Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Okay. What else? Microwave oven. Uh -huh. Microwave oven. Oh. So, what else? Table. Table. Yes. Table. Okay. Share. Chairs. Chairs. Okay. Okay. Yes, correct. So we have the stove, the microwave oven, the refrigerator, the. <coughs> what else did you mention? And the table and the chairs. Okay. And what about the bedroom? What pieces of furniture can you find in a bedroom? Bed. Bed. Lamps. 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 Okay. Curtains. 
curtains, curtains, okay. Pictures. Pictures, yes. Television. A television, yes. Dresser. A dresser, muy bien, a dresser. You miss one, very important. Picture. No. Pictures. Bookcase. Bookcase, okay, bookcase. But when you... A mirror. A mirror, a mirror yes. That one, that's very, very important. Do you, you need one, okay? You need one in your bedroom. Or sometimes could be in the bathroom, right? In the bathroom or in the bedroom. Okay, what else can you find in some bedrooms? Because uh, here in El Salvador, the bedrooms are small, so you don't have enough space to put that, but in some cases, yes. What can you, what, what else can, can, can we have in, in a bedroom? Now in my we, bed, in my, in my job bedroom, I have a desk. Correct, a desk. Mm -hmm. uh, now, well, with, because of the coronavirus, we, the, the students change, right? So most of the students arrange a place in, in their bedrooms because they need to put the computer, to connect to their classes. So they, some of them add or include a desk in their bedrooms, okay? A desk and also a chair, right? So, do you have questions about these vocabulary words? <coughs> what the difference in the uh, in the bookshelf e a bookcase? It's the same. It's the same. Only is another way to call it. But it, it's basically the same. It's a place in which you put the, the books, but it uh, they are the same. Okay. Okay, so let me ask you, uh, let's see. Carla, Patricia, how many pictures do you see? Oh, uh-huh. We are going to use there is and there are. There is this. How many pic? Uh, how many pictures of photographs? Um. Okay. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> We are going to use there is or there are. Okay, do you remember? There are. There are. Mm -hmm. There are lamps. No, pictures. We are with pictures. Ah, there are two pictures. <laughs> yes, correct. There are two pictures. Okay, Marlene. Mm, how many sofas are, how many sofas do you see? There is one sofa. There is one sofa, correct. Okay, Stanley, how many books do you see? There are so much books. I can count them. Ajá, ¿y qué palabra íbamos a usar cuando no, no sabíamos la cantidad exacta? Oh, no. Ajá, ¿Cómo te ayudas? Hay algunos. 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 H
Yes, they are correct. Okay, let's see. Wendy, how many lamps do you see? There are uh, three lamps. Okay, there are three lamps. Jorge, how many chairs do you see? There are two chairs. Okay, yes, correct. Ingrid, how many carpets do you see? What is the meaning? Carpet. Carpet. I don't know, teacher. What is the meaning? It's the same meaning of which word? Who remember? Rock. 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 Correct. Carpet ah. or rock? Yes, it's the same. Ah, okay. I see there is a one. There is one carpet, correct. There is one carpet. Okay, Brandon, how many cars do you see? Uh, there, there are no cars. There is no Any. car. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. y la otra forma? Vamos a ver. Milero. The other way to say it, que Brandon nos dijo usando eh, is no. There is no. Ajá, esa ya la dijo Brandon. ¿Cuál era la otra forma para hacer negative statements? There How many cars any? do you see? How many cars do you see? There is an any. Mm -hmm. There isn't any car. Correct. There isn't any car. Or I don't see any car. Well, but in this case, we are going to, to we are going to use there isn't there are or there are no or there isn't any. Para practicar oh, okay, for the topic. La, ajá, para practicar las estructuras que vimos la semana pasada. Muy bien, questions about this. So, what is the other way you can say rock? Carpet. Yes. Carpet. 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 And the other way you can say bookcase? Yeah. Bookshelf. Excellent. Muy bien, questions? No? Okay. So the topic for section three, we are going to talk about jobs. Okay, we are going to talk about jobs. Jobs or professions in some cases. Okay, in some cases we have... <coughs> Teacher, try out your microphone. Yes. Do you listen another microphone open? With the moving movement. Okay. Yeah, so we have receptionist. Doctor, nurse, pilot, flight attendant, musician, singer, judge, lawyer, cook or chef, waiter and or waitress, salesperson, cashier, security ward, and police officer.
teacher. Yes. We can say from this instead of receptionist too. Okay. Can you spell it, please? From this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Spell the word, please. Um, okay. Let me try. <laughs> F R O N T. Uh huh. D E S K. Front desk. <laughs> okay. So this mm -hmm. is another way to call a receptionist. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. So we have receptionist or front desk. Okay. Front desk. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Do you have a questions or doubts about the meaning of some of these words? Do you know what a lawyer is or what he or she do? A lawyer? <laughs> Uh, preguntas de significado I don't remember a lawyer lawyer uh -huh. okay the lawyer is the person when you are in love of someone and you think I want to marry this beautiful woman so you go to a lawyer and sing a paper in which uh, it says you are husband and wife. So that's a lawyer. And then yeah. a, few, <laughs> a few years later, you come back to the lawyer because you want the divorce. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so a lawyer is an abogado. Los okay. abogados. That's the lawyer. Y ahí vendrá la popular frase leguleyo. <laughs> Probably. Okay, what about what is the difference between waiter and waitress? Uh, waiter uh, uh, and masculine and waitress and uh, uh, woman. Okay, waiter is for male, for male. And waitress is for female, female. Okay, yes, correct. What about the flight attendant? The flight attendant. What does she do? Carla, Patricia, can you explain or, or can you say in a statement what a flight attendant uh, does? Mm, I don't know. Uh, you, Okay, who wants to who wants to explain what <coughs> what is the job of the La, flight or a flight attendant? Yes. Los los que andan en, 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 de in, avión. The, in the airplanes. Yes. The airplanes. They serve. They serve uh, people on the airplanes and also they are well also you can call them uh i don't remember the other way but but you can call it in in two different ways si me acuerdo le digo luego okay and they also explain 
uh, when when the, the flight is going to start, they explain what you can do in, in an emergency and they help you to, to be calm. And I don't know, I kind, I kind of that. What about a musician? What is a musician, Andrea? Bueno, voy a hacer algunas descripciones y ustedes van a tratar de adivinar a hacer a, de la profesión. You have to guess. You have to guess the profession. Okay, I'm going to, to make a statements and you are going to tell me what is the profession that I'm referring to. Okay? Okay. Okay, for example, this person stands all day. Uh, he or she works in a mall, probably, in a mall. You, um, also, they have to be kind with people when the customers arrive. Yes. Salad person. Yes. In the right. mall, in this store, when I bought uh, a lot of clothes. <laughs> and the cashier possibility. Another possibility, yes. But in this case, you have to add, and he or she uh, works with money or mm -hmm. she is responsible for taking the money or yes to get paid for customers mm -hmm. the cashier, the cashier. <laughs> but also in what yes in what other places you can find a cashier, not only in, in a mall. Tell me other places in which a cashier uh, could work. For example, in the restaurant. In a restaurant, correct. In the supermarket. The a supermarket. Movie theater? Yes. Okay. Wakanda, forever. Bank? In a bank. bank. Correct. In a bank. Yes. Yes, correct. Now, next. <coughs> this person uh, wears a uniform. Also, Police officer. Police officer. Security guard. Security guard. Yes. Police officer. Security guard. What else? Pilot. 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 Okay, pilot. a pilot. Right. Nurse. Nurse, no. yes. A doctor. A doctor, correct. Also, uh, like. Security guard, guard. Yes, yes. security guard. Nurse. Nurse, correct. Yes. Also, the, the a chef. A chef also. Okay. And the last one. Let's see the last one. Okay. This person spend sitting most of the time. Mm, he or she has to be um, like, 
become uh, uh, he or she has to be confident in in himself or in herself a judge love you um a ver vaya singer no because no. she or he repeat repeat it, he he spent most of the time sit in a seat okay judge 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 no no lawyer no he has to be confident he he has not to be nervous or Josh. No, he or she also needs to know a lot about geography. Doctor. A pilot. Doctor. A pilot. Doctor. A pilot. A pilot. A pilot. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, but I didn't see any pilot. Uh, who, who is female? O será que ya tengo tiempo de no ir al aeropuerto, pero no recuerdo ver pilotos mujeres. Have you seen any any woman? I don't see any woman. Yes. I see woman. Yes. Not yes. in movies. Not in movies. In real life, <laughs> because movies. That are not true. In the Air Force El Salvador, mm -hmm. I so there are some. There are there are some some pilots female here in El Salvador. Okay, we're going the to Air believe Force. Milton. <laughs> okay. Okay, now you are going to write one, one sentence about any, any job. Okay, you are going to pick a job and you are going to write what uh, this person do. Okay, así como yo, lo, yo, como yo lo estaba haciendo. Okay, you are going to write the sentence on the chat. And let's check. You are going to use simple present. Okay, recuerden, ahorita seguimos con el simple present. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a utilizar acá de acuerdo a las reglas que estuvimos viendo? Si vamos a hacer un positive statement. <coughs> ¿Cómo va a ir nuestro verbo? Bueno, ahí lo tienen. Es más, se lo voy a quitar para que no vean. <risa> Don't copy, don't copy. Okay, write one sentence. One sentence, pick one job and explain what he or she do. And type in on the chat. Hey, what happened with your sentences? Hurry up. Algunos que no lo veo escribiendo. I need a copy. I'm <laughs> working teacher. <laughs> but I can tell you my sentence. Okay, tell me, tell me. <laughs> a nurse mm -hmm. where 
Mm. A uniform. Mm. ¿Qué le faltó? The same with Milton. Same mistake. We need to add the A's in the, in the main verb. Where? Where's, correct. Uh, teacher, Where's you, you see, uh, usando lo que es el do and does. No, porque en este caso vamos, y recuerde que el do o el das lo usábamos para preguntas o para oraciones negativas. En este caso, como van a ser oraciones positivas, lo que vamos a aplicar sería el uso de los sufijos que vimos, que íbamos a añadir es o es. Y eso le faltó a Milton. Correct the sentence, Milton. Write it again. Okay, a chef cooks many typical food. Okay. Doctor. The doctor works in the hospital with sick people. Okay. The nurse works. Diana, you have to add the S. The nurse works in the clinica in the clinic. Sería. The nurse works in a clinic or hospital. The chef works. Carla Patricia también. You miss the S. The chef works in the restaurant. In okay, cuando vamos a hablar de algo en general que no decimos, eh, no mencionamos un nombre propio. Por ejemplo, en el restaurante, eh, no le quiero hacer promoción a ninguno, pero en X restaurante, si yo voy a decir es específicamente el restaurante, entonces si pongo in the restaurant tal, pero si yo no voy a especificar en cuál, solo voy a decir in a restaurante. Okay, or in a hospital, not in the hospital, porque no sé específicamente a cuál me estoy refiriendo. Okay. Igual iría, sería para Ingrid. The doctor works in a hospital. Okay, the chef uh, draft. Pero Azucena me está utilizando verbo to be. Vamos a utilizar presente simple con verbos. Tienen que ser verbos de, de, de acción, por así decirlo, porque vamos a describir qué es lo que hace. Ya vieron los tipos de verbos, los stated verbs. Y no, en, la, en el pasado, no. ¿Vieron los tipos de verbos? No. No. Bueno. Resumiendo, eh, utilizamos eh, dos tipos de verbo cuando hacemos nuestras oraciones. Tenemos los verbos de estado o los stated verbs que nos indican dónde está una persona, cómo está una persona. Y en este caso, en el inglés, ese sería el verbo to be. Pero si yo voy a decir lo que una persona está haciendo o, o lo que está pasando en algún lado, o sea, yo voy a, no voy a utilizar un steady verb, no voy a utilizar un verbo de estado, sino que voy a utilizar un action verb, un verbo de acción, porque yo estoy hablando de lo que esa persona hace, so, no de lo que esa persona es. Entonces, por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, she is a doctor. Eso sería un, utilizando un state verb. 
porque yo estoy diciendo lo que esa persona es, pero si yo le digo, explíqueme qué es lo que esa persona hace, entonces ahí ya no podemos utilizar los state verbs, sino que tenemos que utilizar los action verbs, que en este caso, ¿cuáles son los action verbs? Todos los que indican acción o movimiento, read, run, jump, walk, cook, eh, fly, Thanks. ride, eh, teach, o sea, todo lo que implica una acción, entonces, <coughs> obviamente, is an action verb. Así que, eh, tengan ese cuidado <coughs> cuando, con los verbos que, que van a utilizar. Y, por ejemplo, Tampoco pueden utilizar, si yo, les, si yo les pido o si se les pide que hablen acerca de, de, de acciones o de los que una persona hace, tampoco van a utilizar verbos que, por ejemplo, que sean relacionados con sentimientos o emociones, como she is sad or I am happy, porque esos son de estado porque están explicando o refiriéndose a cómo está o cómo se siente alguien. ¿Ok? okay. Ese es como uh, un resumen. Vamos a ver. Entonces, a su cena habría, tendríamos que cambiar utilizando un action verb que describa la acción de lo que, de lo que el police officer do. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que hace? <coughs> okay. a, eh, a musician composes in many ways expressing what he feels. Excellent, Fernando. He stands, the flight attendant serves drinks and snacks in a plane. Yes. Mm, the pilot. Aquí sería Jorge en la segunda oración, porque creo que había leído una por ahí. Ah, oh, no. Que okay, Jorge, the pilot travels. Ok, vamos a quitar la D y la vamos a cambiar por S. The pilot okay. Okay. travels yeah. around the world. I type in and pass. Uh -huh. Yes, traveled. Is in pass. Yes, solo que le faltó okay. la E. I have confused. Yes. Okay, Andrea, the judge works. You eat the S, Andrea. The judge works. Mm. Mm. Okay, aquí podríamos complementar con un lugar. He, the judge works in the um, más abajo la terminé teacher porque en vez de ah, darle espacio la envié ah, ahí le puse eh, ah, el video the, yo, the judge ah ok muy bien pero igual hay que añadir la S. The job okay, works. Works. Mm -hmm. The doctor works in the hospital. Okay. The architect supervises the work. Okay. A musician makes music and sometimes writes songs. Excellent, Brandon. The radiologic works Susana de S works in a hospital the security guard works in a bank the cashier que okay, Wilber vamos a utilizar igual lo de un si vamos a utilizar work que okay, Vamos a, 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 lo vamos a dejar como verbo principal. Okay, the cashier works in 
a store. In a store. Okay. The chef works in a restaurant. Okay, the radiologist works in a hospital. Mm. Okay, Azucena, seguimos utilizando verb to be. No vamos a utilizar verbo to be. Estamos utilizando verbos de, de, de acción. O, o sea, vamos a ver si vamos a utilizar the traffic police. The traffic police, a ver, ya voy a escribir por aquí. The traffic police gives directions to the drivers. Okay. Uy, se me fue un acento que no iba. <laughs> Sin el acento. The traffic police gives directions to the drivers. Okay, yo estoy explicando algo que hace esa persona. The nurse works in a hospital taking care of patients. Okay, a doctor has an interesting um, Okay, solo porque me utilizó has. Yes, that's correct, Wendy. A doctor has an interesting job in the hospital. The judge works at, si este sería el lugar, vamos a añadir at, cuando vamos a hablar de lugares. The judge works at the prosecutor office. <laughs> the receptionist helps a lot in hospitals. Okay. Muy bien, I don't know if it is clear. Se les está olvidando que tenemos que utilizar en tercera persona la es o es. Ok, don't forget it, don't forget it. Questions? No questions. It's clear. Muy bien, vamos entonces rapidito. Vamos a hacer los ejercicios de esta semana. Voy a dar copia. Para que saquen 100. Yes, yes. Muy bien, Thank tenemos you. entonces. Thank you. <laughs> Dice, look at the pictures and answer correctly about the profession of, of each one. Remember, capital letters are necessary. Esa es otra cosa que no me estuvieron usando ahí en el chat. No me pusieron capitals, no me utilizaron periods. Muy bien, tenemos ahí el primer ejemplo. What's his job? He's a receptionist. What's her job? She's a doctor. What's her job? She's a nurse. Okay, vamos a escribir oraciones. Pretty much that we were doing, lo que estamos haciendo. What's his job? Uh -huh. He's a pilot. He's a pilot. He's a pilot. Capital at the beginning, period at the end. Ah, bueno, ya está el period ahí. Ah, pues no lo pongan porque ya está. Y what's her job? He's a flight He's a singer. A singer. He's a flight attendant. Yes. He's a flight attendant. Muy bien. <coughs> Todavía no copia hasta que le den verificar. Ahora vamos a las six. What's his job? Teacher. Yes. Ahí le dice cheese no lleva a a fly attendant. Yes. Thank you.
and he is a pilot. Yes. I'm sleepy today. Yes. <laughs> Number six. What's his job? He is a musician. Mrs. He's is a musician. 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 He is a musician. <laughs> musician. You need a sonic candidate. Yes. Today I bought my sorry, Tony. In number seven, what's her job? She is a singer. A singer. He's a singer. He's a singer. Number eight. What's her job? Is is a he or she? She 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 bueno, no sé si por eso lo van a tomar. Sí, contractado. Porque, ajá. Yo se lo he puesto sin la contracción. Uh, she is a... Josh. 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 Ok. Number nine. Okay. What's his he job? Is. He is a police officer. officer. Yes, okay, number 10. He is a lawyer. He, he is a lawyer. A lawyer. Lawyer. A lawyer. 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 Yes, correct. Number 11, what's his job? He's a cook. He's a cook. Number 12. What he is he? Is, uh, he is waiter. Waiter. A waiter. 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 Bueno, ahí depende del acento que le quieran dar. El acento estadounidense, waiter. Y el británico que no me sale, waiter. Thirteen, what's her job? She's a waiter. She's a waitress. 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 A waitress. Wait Okay, 14. What's his job? He's a security, He's a security guard. He's a security person. She is a security guard. A salesperson. person. A person. He is a salesperson. person. Yes, it's correct. Salesperson. 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 Fifteen. She is. She is a security she guard. Is, she is a she cashier. Is a cashier. She is a cashier. Yes, a cashier. No se vayan a confundir y por eso le va a salir mal. Oh, cashier. She is a cashier. Fifteen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sixteen, the last one. She is. She is a security guard. Yes. And let's check. Vaya, déjenme revisar. ¿Cuáles son los dedos? Yes. Vaya. ¿Quieren que les mande captura? 
¿Qué es? <risa> Me llega. No. No. Okay, sí. Don't call. It's not needed. Yes. Solo porque me ayudaron a hacerlas. Don't be lazy, classmate. Ah. Eh, lazy. Pero comparta la teacher porque a veces siempre preguntan en el grupo. Ah, bueno. Um, bueno. Ok, entonces lo puede dejar contractado o sin contracción. Vaya, ya se las mando al ratito. Voy a, a tomar asistencia because it's time. I think it's... Sí, no. sí, 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 puede entrar. Solo lo que me hacían falta, quiero ver Ana Maribel, Brian, Dolores Patricia adentro, Diana, ok, Dolores, ahora le pongo, ok, gracias, Hebel, Jorge, present. You were late, Jorge. What happened? What? René no estaba cuando pasé la primera asistencia. René Giovanni? No here. And Susana? Present. Ok. Muy bien, ahí estamos entonces. So, that will be all for today. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good to see you. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye teacher. Gracias. Bye, Bye. Bye. Bye teacher. Bye-bye. Milton. Bye-bye, <laughs> teacher. Goodbye, Andrea. Bye. Señor, su tarjeta y licencia, por favor. Su selectivo fue rojo. Va a pasar a escáner. Después.